What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about how I carry, what are my go-to holsters, and also give you an update on the Tactica Women's Gun Belt. I've been wearing it about three months now, so let's see how it held up. My go-to carry gun, the XDS 3.3 9mm. I do have the green fiber optic on the front because I find that I can catch that green really quickly and I like it. Uh, the only thing I did add is I did put the rubber talon grips. They're really, really cool because it makes it really grippy but not rough on your skin. So when you're carrying, it's not constantly rubbing on your body. And I've had these talon grips on for at least two plus years and they're not peeling, they're not, it comes like kind of like a sticker and they've held up really well. So my other go-to gun is the MMP 2.0 5 inch. Neil actually got a MMP and I really, really liked it. I made him go out and buy me my own because that's my instructor gun. I also carry it in the fall and the winter because I live in Northeast Ohio and I can get away with just about carrying anything because you got big coats on and sweaters and things like that. I'm a traditional gun belt and holster girl. Uh, there are a few things I do use when my outfit, I just can't wear a gun belt and holster. So let's just go over how I usually carry every day. Through carrying, I've kind of figured out what worked for me and what didn't work. At first I started off with this uh, alien gear. I think they also are called Bigfoot gun belts now. It was really thick and heavy and yes, it did the job, but it was really hard. It didn't even fit in some of my pants belt loops. Then I moved to the core track line and I still do like this belt, but it is a little bit manly, but it's, it's really, once you get used to having that track line where it's so easy to make those little changes, you kind of get addicted. And about three months ago, I received this Tactica female gun belt and I was presently surprised at how pretty it was and how well made it was, but I was kind of hesitant because wearing a holster and a gun is really heavy and it does um you know i was curious to see how it hold up over time so i've had it three months now i've used it almost daily there was a few times when i was testing other products and i wasn't able to wear it but so far it's actually holding up pretty well you can see it's not morphing there's no you know no scratches or anything like that and for holsters i'm a big fan of hybrids which is means when it's like a hard kydex on the front, which means it has a nice solid trigger guard, so I feel safe. And then the back is, this one's neoprene, but they can also be leather. I like that because it's more comfortable against my skin. So if you had a full kydex, I would just have this hard plastic rubbing against me all the time. So I really like these styles of holsters. This is the Alien Gear Shapeshift. This is the holster I was using before. And then I recently, three months ago, switched to the Tactica Inside the Waistband. Tactica is the female brand of Alien Gear, so they're very similar, but I like that the footprint is so much smaller. And so I've been wearing this and I, I like it so far. This is what I usually carry every day. So this is how it looks when it's all on. I like to carry in the 430 position. A lot, another common position is up here, up front in the appendix, but that's all preference. So you have to try it and figure out what works for you. Once I do this, then I can put my shirt over. Typically I wear like larger shirts. I also use a lot of vest and other things to help hide and conceal and, and stop me from printing. These are just connected with clips. So you put your pants on, you put your belt on, you slide the holster in and put the clips over your belt and then you insert your gun. And the take, if I wanted to take it off, it's real simple. They're just clips so I can just pull this whole thing out. Now I know ladies, it's hard to always wear pants with belt loops and wear a holster. So there are a few other go-to holsters I use, like for example, when I'm gonna wear a sundress, these are some of my favorite options. These are the C4 concealment shorts. What I really like is that the gun sits on the outside of your thigh versus the inside like other brands where it's poking you all the time. The only thing with these is that you can't wear anything really form-fitting. They're better off with looser, flowier, uh, sundresses and things like that. Another thing a lot of my students do who like to wear like the leggings with the longer tunicky shirts is they'll actually wear their leggings and then put these shorts over and then wear a longer tunicky shirt or dress and then they're able to conceal. One important feature I really like about these shorts is that they have an option to have a kydex trigger guard. There are also two belly bands that I like and I, I recommend to other people. One of them being the Tactica, the new one. It's kind of like a belly band and a holster combined. The one negative is that you do have to wear it in the front of your body. So for me and how I normally dress, that doesn't really work with my wardrobe, but for some people who prefer to carry in the front and like looser fitting front shirts, it 
it's a really safe option where you can conceal and you don't have to wear a gun belt and holster. Another great option is this Cross Breeds belly brand. Uh, these are for women and men. They're great. I know a lot of people use them for when they're running or working out. I'll show you how it works. As you notice, it has a full Kydex trigger guard and this actually comes off so you can adjust it any way you want. And you can also wear it anywhere around your you know, your mid area. So whatever's most comfortable and conceals the best, that's how you can wear it. And then this part is sandwiched in under there so it keeps it real nice and tight. I hope you guys found this video helpful. A lot of people ask me all the time, they say, what holster should I get? And I wish there was a one answer for everybody, one size fits all. You're gonna love this holster and it's gonna be the best for you. But the truth of the matter is, is that you're probably gonna have to try a few different things and figure out what works for you. Cause we all have different bodies, we carry different guns, we dress differently, we have different lifestyles and you have to figure out what works for you. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, comment. I always love hearing from you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by six.